This is an ultrasound study of a 40 years old female. She is. Uh, she ha gives the history of a primary infertility. Did not conceive in her life. So, and this is the cervix that you are seeing being a little bit straight by the uh, urinary gland above, over and uh, as they move upwards towards the umbilical region. I see that uh, this is the uh, well, yes. This is the body of the uterus and this is the fundal, fundal region. The myometrium is normal, anterior myometrium is normal. The posterior myometrium up to shown is normal. This is the endometrial canal. Endometrial canal measures 2.5 and is thick ecogenic and in length it measures approximately 5.7 centimeters. So uh, it's, it, it gives Now this is the longitudinal section of the uterus that uh, in which we are seeing a dense coarse ecogenic area within the endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal. And here the fundal region is normal and here the myometrium is totally normal and uh, posterior uh, myometrium, upper part of the posterior myometrium is normal, and this region is normal. Now, if, we, if you see, you will see that there is a uh, coarse, inhomogeneous, heterogeneous area seen relating to the uh, posterior lip of the cervix. Now, this area. Yeah. This is the urinary bladder. This is the anterior lip of the uh, cervix being elevated by this solid mass, which is extending from the cervix up to the uh, lower third of the uterine body and relates to the posterior segment, lower, se uh, lower part of the uh, uterine, posterior uterine wall, lower posterior uterine wall and then involves the cervix as well. Now it shows, it, it's an uh, ecogenic mass and uh, it gives posterior shadowing, it's, these are shadows within it. So this is the uterus, anterior myometrium and this is the cervix being elevated by this uh, fibroid. This is a fibroid in fact. And this is the urinary gland. Now the further study uh, shows that there is another uh, heterogeneous uh, mass with internal cystic area. This is consistent with another fibroid relating to in the intramural portion of the posterior myometrium, measuring 4.8 into 3.7 centimeter. Now you see this. These are the internal uh, hypophyic areas or cystic areas which are representative of uh, internal necrosis and degeneration. This is the anterior myometrium, which is absolutely normal. This is the mass. This is the fibroid. Even now, if I move, no, this is the transfer section of the uterus, and you can see that the, it, it, it remains there, the, this area, if you keep your eye on this area, it will retain its uh, shape, appearance in longitudinal and transfer section. Anyway. Now this is a fibroid, intramural fibroid that is uh, 
relating to the posterior uterine wall. Whereas the upper, uh, sorry, anterior myometrium is normal, though stretched. And this is another fibroid, echogenic. This is the uterus, mid part of the uterus. Moreover, as we move towards the fundal region, uh, you see this is the uh, endometrial canal, the portion of the endometrial canal, which is thick, echogenic, this area, from here to here, and from here to here, measuring 7.2 into 2.2, dense force echogenic area in the center of the endometrial canal, anterior myometrium, uh, sorry, in the center of the uterus, uterine body, and uh, be, this being the anterior myometrium, and this is the posterior myometrium. From here, when I move the probe upwards, I come across another. Uh, globular area. This area. And this is again, and now this is, uh, in fact, this relates to the fundal region of the uterus. This is the fundus of the uterus. And uh, There we are. This is the fundus of the uterus, this area, and this is the another fibroid. So there are a whole of the posterior wall of the uterus is occupied by three large fibroids of uh, mixed liquidity. Elevating the anterior myometrium, fundal region is spared, and we can see that the this fundal region gives normal echogenicity and thickness. This is the longitudinal section of the uterus. So this is a case of uh, multiple posterior uterine wall fibroid elevating the uterus, uh, sorry, the anterior myometrium with dense coarse ecogenic area within, uh, 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 within the endometrial canal, which is a polyp most probably. Thank you very much.